Hey guys, this is Madison. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a video that I've been promising you guys for a few weeks now. We're doing the Morphe X James Charles palette review. Yes, I'm so excited. This is so beautiful and so amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's, I mean, let's go ahead and get started. It's amazing. It has so many colors. You could literally make any look you want to with this. I don't think I'm going to swatch every single color in here like I did with the Laura Lee palette review, but I am going to be using it. If you guys want to see the swatches, when this video comes up, I will put it on my Instagram story so you guys can see what each color looks like. I'll, I'll swatch them on there. So, we're just going to really start. So first, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and go into this shade canvas over here which is like for me it's basically it's skin tone for me it's like a very light beige and I'm just gonna go down on my eye even though there's already foundation stuff there from earlier we're just gonna go ahead and get it ready for the other shadows so next I'm gonna take tune right here we're just gonna take it and we're gonna blend into the high-ish crease we're back to the high-ish crease guys <laughs> anyway we're just gonna take it blend and just go for it you know get that light wash of color there so we can blend out the yellow that I'm about to use next okay so now that I have that on I'm gonna take the shade B which is the yellow shade in here and I'm gonna go just a little bit lower than that and just start building it up to get ready for the oranges and reds that we're about to use so like Oh, that's for real yellow. Yo. Like, I don't think I've used this shade yet. Okay, so now we're going to start into the orange. It's going to do like a fiery type look. So we're going to take Code James right there. That's next to Tune. And we're going to take it and we're going to blend it just a tiny bit lower than the yellow that we already did. Okay, so now since we got that orange down, we're going to take a little bit of 518 right here, which is this kind of like Cheeto orange. I don't know. It looks like Cheetos. But like we're going to take it and then just go kind of on top, but just a little bit under of Code James. Okay, so now we're going to take the shade Rusted, which is the dark orange in the palette, and we're going to pack it kind of just right below it, but also starting to go into the outer corner over here, and just to like build up the color for the last color that we'll put on. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and take and pat this all over the lid like that. Okay, so the last shade that we're going to take is You're Kidding, which is the red shade. And James was talking about how long he worked to create this red shade to where it's like a pure red and not leaning more orange or more blue. <laughs> and so it's... It's honestly, it's such an amazing red. It's like the best red that I've ever had in a palette at all. Just deepen up this side right here. We're going to take a bit of concealer and we're going to cut the crease and make us a half cut crease. And then we're going to start packing on some gold shades. When the concealer dries from the cut crease, you're going to want to take um, canvas over here again and pack it on top of where you just put that concealer to where the set it sets the concealer in place and it won't crease. Then I'm going to take the shade so good over here and I'm going to pack it closer to the outer point of the spot where I cut at. So I'm just going to take that shade and I'm going to just like start packing it on top of that spot that we just cut. Imagine. What? 
Mama lost her fish. Her fish died. Okay, I'll come see you in a minute. And then when you get done putting that on the outer parts, then we're going to go into the shade face, which is the kind of gold highlight shade, and put it on the, the inner half of that crease. So I just went ahead and like blended them out like I said I was going to do, and but then I added the shade acapella where the crease met the rest of the shadows. I also just put on some more mascara and threw on the Maybelline unstoppable eyeliner in the shade sapphire in my waterline to just connect the blues together um now i'm just going to take a little bit of the shade hello which is the light blue shade and i'm going to highlight my inner corners with it um i'm also going to highlight my brow bone with this anyway now we're just going to highlight with we're going to mix Tune and Ring Light together it for my nose and Cupid's bow. Well, that thing that's a little much. I'm going to spray my face with some setting spray. And while it's still wet on my face, I'm just going to take those colors and use them to highlight with. Yes. Alright, so I just put on that CoverGirl gloss stuff that I was talking about in my last video because I was like, I was like, I already got so much going on in my eyes, I don't need anything attracting to my mouth because, like, the eyes, you know, whatever. So, obviously, y'all already know I love this palette, it's so good. Um, the only thing with it is some of the sh shades. Some of the shades stain, I know. Skip over here, this hot pink. Like that. Oof. Yes. It stains. Um, that's the only one I really know of that stains. Um, and I've used every single shade in this palette. Um, maybe like the blues with like a little bit of tint. But this is a great palette. If it's, when it's in stock, like just keep, if you want this, you're gonna have to wait till it's in stock again because I think it, what, came back two or three times and they sold out in like not even 24 hours for both times. So it's very wanted and I can see why. It's so good. Y'all go hit this up. Very nice. You could use it for so many things. Like literally highlighter, blush, eyeshadow. You could probably use this for anything you wanted to. Anyway, that's it for this video. Y'all wanted the James Charles palette review and here I am. Did an orange and blue look and this is just how it, how it is. This is how it is. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you have a, guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see, I'll see you guys next week. Next Sunday is my upload every Sunday, not just next Sunday, is my upload day. So please subscribe and turn your notifications on. Please like this video, comment, um, go follow my Instagram. It'll be in the description box below. <laughs> so that's, that's it for this video. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. Love y'all. Bye.